all these things might sound shallow and superficial, but guess what? Y'all already know, I don't care. I had a vision, I had a goal, I had plans in my head of how I wanted my hair. I, I'm gonna tell y'all exactly how I wanted my hair to be, okay? I wanted my hair to be down to here and I wanted it to be straight and I wanted it to be jet black, okay? And just straight and just hanging and just uh, uh, blowing in the wind. That's what I had wanted, okay? That's what originally made me decide to relax my hair. Might sound kind of whatever, whatever, but that's what I wanted. And y'all, before I had relaxed my hair, I had went through some phases with my hair, right? Okay, so I was natural, of course. I was natural for like seven years, I think. I was natural for a long time. And I went, my hair was natural. My hair was pretty long when it was natural. It was, it was like right here, yeah. Let me inch it up a little bit. It was like right here, okay? But it was thick, um, it was beautiful, and I loved my hair. I had dyed my hair bright freaking red, like Ronald, does Ronald McDonald have red hair? Yes, I had dyed my hair Ronald McDonald red, y'all, like bright, bright, bright red, okay? And so that was my first phase that I had went through. And then I transitioned and I just dyed my hair jet black, okay? Um, but I just wanted straight hair. I was done with the Ronald McDonald. I was done with the jet black natural. I was done with the poofs, with the curls, with the coils. I was done. I wanted straight, long. That's what I had wanted. And along with me wanting my hair to be straight and long, I told y'all the fantasy. I told y'all the vision that I had in my head. I wanted my hair to look like this all the time, okay? Not just some of the time. I didn't want to have to flat iron my hair and then go outside and then poof, it's gone. No, I wanted it to be straight all the time. And I knew being natural, I could not achieve this, okay? I cannot achieve this. I live in North Carolina. If y'all have ever been to North Carolina, if y'all have, I'm sure y'all have heard of NC, okay? But if y'all, <laughs> if y'all have, never been to North Carolina, okay? North Carolina is in the South, okay? And in the South, we got a little thing called humidity, okay? I'm sure a lot of other states have this. A lot of other states, especially on the East Coast, I'm not sure about the Midwest because I don't venture out there too much. But I know along the East Coast and the South, humidity is a thing over here, okay? So, that don't work over here in around my parts, okay? That don't work in North Carolina. I can't just, even when it's cold outside, okay? I cannot flat iron my hair and expect it to be flat ironed straight all day when my hair was natural. I remember y'all, I had went to the mountains in February, it was cold. I had went to the mountains. I'm expecting my hair to just be, okay? I had straightened it. I had did what I need to do. I'm expecting it to be blowing in the wind and straight the whole time. No, it poofed up and my hair would always poof. The straight would be gone as soon as I would walk outside. And I'm sick and tired of that. I told y'all the vision. I wanted my hair to look like that all the time. I didn't want to go through heat training my hair. I didn't want to do any of that. Not saying anything's wrong with that. I just didn't want to do that, okay? The third reason why I made the decision to relax my hair was because I really just missed my relaxed hair. I missed it. Like, I had been relaxed for most of my life. Um, my mom relaxed my hair when I was pretty young and it had been relaxed for a while, like all throughout primary school, all throughout middle school, all throughout high school, all throughout college, um, even after college for a little bit. And then um, I had went back natural for a little bit right after college, but then right after that, like a couple years after that, I went back relaxed and I really just missed my relaxed hair. Like something about just the way it feels, it just feels so silky and so smooth and so soft and just, ooh. I just missed it and I did not have that with my natural hair. Not to say my natural hair didn't feel soft and it didn't feel silky at times and it wasn't smooth, but 
something about a good old relax. Something about that. I missed that. I missed that so much. And if you have ever um, done what I've done, where you've had moments in your life where you have um, been relaxed or you've been natural or you've been back and forth, you're probably going through that as well. And sometimes I miss my natural hair. Not enough to make me want to go back natural, girl. Not enough because we ain't doing no big chop, okay? I don't miss it that bad. But sometimes I miss my coils, my curls. Sometimes I do miss it. So I think that kind of goes both ways. But um, definitely with being natural, I just really, really miss my relaxed hair. And that was driving me and pushing me to want to relax my hair again. When I was natural, I just, I just, it just, it was just a lot. Like, and because it was a lot, there would be times when my hair would look crazy, crazy as hell. Like it would just look crazy. And I would be like, and I found my hair, I found myself slicking my hair down in ponytails a lot. I found myself wearing my hair in puffs a lot, like just doing stuff. And I would always have issues with my edges when I was natural. I would always have issues where um the back would be long but like right here in my temples would be gone okay so basically this time my hair would it'd be it'd be like long long bald long like that's how my hair looks when i was natural and it was because i kept pulling it back i kept putting it in ponytails kept putting it in buns kept doing that because it's like dang what else i'm gonna do to it like it's the only thing i can do because i ain't about to be twisting it every night i ain't about to be um twisting it every night no either i would put it <laughs> either i would do that or i would wear a wig and i wouldn't i wasn't about to braid it down every time I wouldn't buy to do that. So, like I said, like I just, I just want, and I was, I did. Sometimes I didn't want to wear wigs. I just wanted my real hair to look nice all the time. I wanted to wear my real hair, and I wanted to look nice all the time. And with my hair being relaxed, I mean, with my hair being natural, it ain't look nice. It would be dry sometimes. It would be puffy sometimes. It would be. My edges would not be having a good day sometimes. Like, it just wasn't cooperating with me a lot of the time. And I just didn't want to deal with that no more. So, that was another reason that made me want to relax my hair. I found that in order for it to look nice all the time and for me to wear it down, I would have to twist it every night or I would have to tie it up into all these little ponytails or I would have to just oil it or I would have to or I would have to put some cream on it or I would have to just do something to it all the time outside of me spending all this time washing, detangling, conditioning twisting outside of all of that she still wasn't happy she still wanted me she still wanted more of my time she still wanted me to come back to her and twist her up every other night and oil her down i couldn't do it and i was i was tired of doing my hair i was tired of it and with me tired of doing my hair, like I said, I kept putting in ponytails and I was losing more hair because I was tired of it. And I was so tired of it, I didn't even want to wash it. I would go, y'all, like I how I be telling y'all how wash your hair every week, wash your hair every week. Oh, you think I was doing that when I was natural? No, ma'am and no, sir. I was not washing my hair every week. I'm lucky if I wash my hair once a month, okay? And I had got to the point where I just, I didn't want to wash it. I didn't want to detangle it. I didn't want to deep condition. I was slacking all the way on my hair. 
I was just tired of doing it. I was tired of doing it. I was tired of all the hair. I was tired of working in sections. I was tired of being, I, I was just tired of doing her that way, okay? I needed a break and that's why I relaxed it. The thing that is very good about relaxed hair that I have been enjoying and that I knew that I would enjoy is that I don't have to spend as much time. So with my current routine right now, I do invest about two to three hours in my current wash day, okay? That's one day though, okay? Throughout the week, I really don't have to invest more than five minutes in my hair every single day. And that includes wrapping it at night or doing whatever I want to do. I wear my hair um, down all the time. So I don't have to moisturize. I don't have to seal. I don't have to do any of that. I just get up and go every single day. And not only that, a lot of other relaxed hair girls save even more time than I do because some relaxed hair girls don't even flat iron their hair. Um, some of them air dry their hair and just go. And that is the good thing about being relaxed is that you don't have to worry about, um, you know, wash you after you wash and deep condition and do all that. You don't have to worry about twisting your hair or braiding your hair so that it doesn't get tangled and interlocked together. You don't have to worry about doing that. If you really wanted to, you could just, after you finish your wash day process, you could really just put some leave-in conditioner and go. And your hair is not gonna be a hot tingling mess in the end. It's gonna still look good. It's, And then you are gonna be able to just proceed with styling throughout the week. And it's still not gonna take as long as it would with you being natural. And that's what I missed about being relaxed. And that's what I thoroughly enjoy about being relaxed is that I can invest less time in my hair, but still be thoroughly taking care of my hair. Two to three hours is plenty of time for my hair to set it up for success throughout the week where it's gonna look nice all week. It's gonna be taken care of. I'm not neglecting it. It's still growing, it's still thriving, and it's doing what it needs to do. Two to three hours for me when I was natural was not enough time. I needed like four to five hours and additional hours and minutes throughout the week that I just was tired of spending. Another reason why I made the decision to relax my hair and why you might be considering relaxing your hair as well is because I really just wanted to try something new. Like, I have been natural, like I told y'all, for seven years. I, at the time, was a person that changed my hair a lot. Like I told y'all, I went from red to black to relaxed all in a span of about two months, okay? I used to change my hair a lot. Um, I used to wear different wigs. I used to do this, do that. Do I don't do all that stuff no more, okay? We're gonna have to go through a little boring phase to get this thing to grow where she need to go. But um, I just, I wanted something new. Um, I wanted a new look. I wanted a new routine. I wanted new products. I wanted something new and relaxed hair was going to give me that because it was going to significantly change my look because I wasn't going to have an afro anymore or curly hair or twists or braids. Okay. I was going to be straight, straight. So, um, it's going to significantly change my look. Um, I was going to have to buy new products and try new things, which I wanted to do as well. And I was going to have to change my routine, which I was just ecstatic about. So that's what made me, that was, that's another very big, um, that probably should have been higher up on the list. <clears throat> but that was one of the main reasons why I wanted to relax my hair as well. And you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Some of these things may have seemed a little bit repetitive, um, and they probably were, but this video was all in fun. I just wanted to share with you guys what ultimately um, impacted my decision to relax my hair. And I wanted to also um, just kind of hope that somebody who is considering relaxing their hair 
or maybe someone who is already relaxed. I wanted to make this video so that you could kind of relate to me so that we could relate to each other because we all the same at the end of the day. We all be thinking the same thoughts, living the same life really at the end of the day. And that's what this video was for and in good spirits and fun as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you so much. And thank you also so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.